The uh, Nigerian Debt Management Office uh, is uh, in the market this week, auctioning two reopened savings bonds for the month of September. The debt office is looking to raise billions of naira via the sale of the bonds to retail investors in the local market as part of its regular offerings in the fixed income space. Joining me to discuss that offer, uh, which closes on Friday uh, this week, as well as the uh, broader domestic market and the yield environment, is Ayodeji Ebo, who is the Managing Director and Chief Business Officer at Optimus uh, by AfriVest. Ayodeji, good evening to you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Good to see you again. Um, how has the market been responding to the monthly savings bond auctions by the, the debt management office? Okay, thanks. Uh, looking at the yield for this month, it uh, looks very attractive. And if we look at where we're coming from as of January, the yield on the FGN savings bond, typically the savings bond have two years and three year tenors that is issued monthly. I started at seven for the two years and eight percent for the three years in January. And currently, based on this month, it's at 11 percent uh, for the two year tenor and the and um, 12 percent, 12.01 percent for the three year tenor. So it's uh, very attractive because this savings bond is available for retail investors. Minimum investment is five thousand and which means that it's accessible to a lot of Nigerians. So when you compare the interest you would get compared to the savings account that is 4.2% based on the new adjustments uh, by the CBN, that's like a gap of close to about 6 or 7%. And yes, looking at it vis-a-vis -vis inflation rates, it may not be able to cover inflation rate at 11 12%, looking at inflation rate at 19%. But you are also able to close the gap. Uh, I will always emphasize if you are discouraged that um, you are not covering inflation rate and because of that, you are not investing. If you, if you are mindful of the impact of inflation on your funds or your savings, then you, you would realize that you are losing. You are worse off if you are not doing anything. So the, the investors are, get, uh, are excited about this uh, based on the feedback that I've seen and um, inquiries that have been uh, made uh, via uh, Twitter when uh, I posted it. So I believe that um, we'll see more interest, but there's still a long way to go in terms of the enlightenment on how uh, investors can assess this. There's still a long way to go regarding how it works. So um, there's a lot of publicity that needs to be done. Looking at the average number of investors that invest in a month is sometimes less than um, 2,000 investors compared to millions of Nigerians with an investment that is available to almost everyone with a minimum investment of 5,000 Naira monthly. So there's a lot that still needs to be done in that regard. Excellent stuff. Thank you so much for that. What do you think informs investors' appetite for this uh, unique offer? You mentioned inflation already. Is it the, the low entry point of, of, of 5,000 Naira to get in? Okay, first, uh, investors will look at the security. So this is an instrument that is issued by the government. In quotes, we'll say it's risk-free, uh, but we know that life is also about risk. But this is an investment issued in Naira. We know that the worst-case scenario is that um, the government would uh, get support from the CBN, uh, either in, in forms of um, printing money. So they have control over the Naira. So there's nothing to fear in terms of government meeting its oblig obligations. And two, the entry level is accessible to everyone. Uh, we know it's, we are now, when you look at the savings culture in Nigeria, it's still very low. Savings uh, as a proportion of GDP is still lower than about 10%. So that's still very low. We don't have that culture of savings. But when you also look at the interest rates now at 11%, and the interesting thing about the FGN savings bond is that the interest is paid quarterly. So it means that you can begin to get cash flow on a quarterly basis if you plan yourself. If you invest for the next three months, it means every month there will be something that will be dropped into your bank account. And I would like to just touch how government has structured this is the store brokers are just the agents. So they just help you to submit the form. There's no risk. They submit the form to the government. The interest is paid directly to your bank account that is registered. And at maturity, 
the principal is also paid back to your bank account. So there's really no risk in quotes with this kind of investment and it's available to everyone. So it's a way to also cultivate that savings culture. And that's why government, with that name, if you look at even in other climes, savings bond. So it's for long term and it also helps you to cultivate that savings habit. Excellent. Thank you so much for that breakdown. Do, do you think that the debt management office objectives of floating this retail bond have been met over time? Okay, I think it's a work in progress. And, and like I mentioned earlier, there still needs to be a lot of awareness that needs to be done. So when you look at the number of investors that uh, are investing in this bond monthly, it's still very low, very minute. We should be getting at least minimum of about one one million per month if we want to see, I uh, want to drive that. So part of what I feel may be a major bottleneck for that is the process is still manual. Investors have, have to fill form on a monthly basis. Uh, and that is really a major setback in the era of technology. So there's a need to automate this process that you don't need to be filling the form on a monthly basis. And uh, um, there's a need to work with um, brokers on how that can be automated so that the process, onboarding process for that particular offer is seamless. Uh, so, but um, speaking directly to your question, I feel the objective is being met. It's a work in progress, but there's a lot of publicity that needs to still be carried out. They need to also invest in that because there's also that correl strong correlation between the well-being of an economy uh, comparing it to the savings rate. So if they are able to begin to save and cultivate that habit, it will add more value to their well to their wealth because they will be able to afford a certain level of standard of living but if you don't you are not adding value to your savings you are you don't even have that savings culture at all you always be running into a problem so i feel that um, there needs to be more effort towards um creating publicity and awareness in that space all right. And uh, can you briefly give us an outlook on the fixed income market for this week i guess as the september market gets on the way Okay, thanks. Uh, we have the uh, primary market auction for the treasury bills, uh, uh, the first one for this month, uh, tomorrow. And we're expecting that um, rates will be around the same levels. We've seen rates moved at the, at the longer end of the call from about 6.5 to 7% to about 8.5%. But we believe that um, yeah, if yeah, we will begin to see a bit of slowdown in terms of the rate at which it's moving and due to the liquidity that we're also expecting in the system. In the month of September, liquidity level is high. Coupon that we expect is about 300 billion. And uh, we expect that to also impact on direction. So um, being specific to this week, uh, the bond auction, we still feel that it will close at sub 9%, if not closing at our previous levels. Uh, but um, we also know that it's been an improvement to what we've seen in the last one or two months. Uh, on the bond level, we would see we are continue to we we'll continue to see that um, improvement in in yields. But it also would be cap. We are not seeing a lot of um, activity within the naira bond bonds market. Uh, we know the auction on the 19th of September, the FGN auction. We still expect rates to improve. Uh, compared to what the closure rate was uh, last month due to the improvement we've seen in the TBS market. Excellent stuff. IADG Ebo, uh, Managing Director, Chief Business Officer at Optimus at Afrinvest. Always great talking to you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us.